are 17 minutes late, but we are live. Oh my god. That's crazy. Dog, I know. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty swaggy. Not gonna lie. Pretty swaggy. Um, we're here on Zoom because Glory's computer kept breaking. Every yeah. Every time we tried a Discord call today. So. It didn't work. That wasn't very cool. Good thing the rest of the interviews tonight are on Zoom. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, there's nothing on Discord. Just... Okay, good, because that would have been sad. I feel like you're anyway. going to have to move that because Glory's PC dies every single time and I can't keep going through the 10 minute wait time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's sad. Um, concerts. Uh, Niall did his live stream concert and he is the, he broke the record of most viewers on a West Western person because like, BTS broke the record and had like the most amount of people of on the live stream. Did. Um, I mean, like they're powerful. I come on, but Niall Horan broke the record for Western artist to um, do that. So that's pretty cool. I didn't get to watch it, but a lot of my friends did, and they said it was very good. So good job, Niall. The the place he played at is cool. Mm -hmm. Bring me the horizon did like some orchestra performance there. That's all. Oh. I, that's what I associate with that venue. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's fair. I didn't watch any live streams, but our friends in Love Roast are supposed to play. Uh, something a show at the mall near yeah. me on saturday and i dm them i was like maybe i'll pop out to this maybe i won't well, you should because that's um nick drive kid as well right and yeah, nick drive kid will be there like mm -hmm. banging on the bongos or something i don't know oh because it'll probably be acoustic since it's like outside the mall mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't have like them shredding on guitars and everything you know? yeah so that'd um, be cool though so. yeah it'd be yeah. pretty pog swag i'm not gonna lie can we talk about how we got Sky from Super Whatever to say Pog Swag? He said epic <laughs> Pog moment in the server. Epic today. Pog moment and Pog Swag. Because you were just like, say, say, say. <laughs> pog Swag? <laughs> He's like, what's it mean? I'm like, just, just say it. Pog say Swag. Pog, it. Just pog, say pog. It. It's fine. <laughs> I wish I wish we recorded that because that, that was the best thing. That, that is was, the best I thing I love ever. Sky so much. Yeah, Sky's Sky saying favorite. Pog really just made my day. <laughs> made my mm -hmm. entire week. <laughs> Definitely. The next time we talk to him and possibly Chase, we need to be like, okay, so Pog Swag, just, yeah. just say I just, it. I just told them. I was like, yo, next time you got to get Chase in on this. Like, we got to mm -hmm. have both of them on. We got to exactly. have a full band interview, at least one. Yeah. yeah um, let's talk about some uh, some music. Music. So, Jiraiya dropped a single, Knives Are Dangerous Kid, so cut the theatrics on October 30th. Why is my thingy imaging beeping? Oh, my God. Um... It was good. I liked it a lot. He never disappoints. No. No. I really like... I, I like his style. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know? I, I really like it. Did this one have a music video? I didn't anime? look that far into it. I, I think it did. Because he sent us this one. For the interview. I can't remember if it was for this one or not. Though. I'm pretty <sighs> sure it was this one. But it's like the music video... His style of music video is really cool. I like I like that he's able to animate and stuff. So it's yeah. like super cool. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Anthony Amarim, I said that right, uh, released a single, Torn, on October 30th. What did you think of Torn by Anthony Amarim that he released on October 30th? <laughs> so every single time we talk about Anthony Amarim on here, I'm like, oh, man, here we go. The acoustic bullshit again. And then so um, Sam was like, dude, just trust me on this. You got to listen to this. It's his best mm -hmm. song. So yeah. I did. And uh, yeah, I agree with Sam. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah, my thingy majiggy keeps beeping, but I don't want to turn it off because my computer's plugged into it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was good. Yeah, I really liked it. I'd like to talk to Anthony and anthony yeah. if you're watching our dms are open yeah i'm just saying <laughs> it I'm, was a very very good single though. it was like really good like, like it caught me off guard. like i like him i listened to him already and i listened to him and i was like oh my god anthony popped off what is this like good job man good job he's killing it killing it absolutely destroying it good job all right i think i <laughs> Okay, we're going with it off. If my computer dies, that's why. Okay, cool, cool. So let's just speed through this episode then, so then your computer doesn't die midway. Uh, so Sarah and the Safer have dropped Woo! an album. 
uh, good gracious bad good good gracious bad people on October thirtieth. We forgot about this one last week because last week yeah. was really busy. Um, Too busy. But this album, holy shit! This is oh another god. one that I listened to. It, it like blew me away. Oh my god! I mean, the singles they were good by themselves, but mm -hmm. like when listening to it in the album, I was like, holy shit! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I think god. they gained like a lot of monthly listeners as well. I think they broke forty thousand. It was either thirty or forty thousand that they broke with this album drop. As I'm pretty they sure. should. Exactly as they should. Like, as they should. So talented. Um, I would like to talk to them again because they are all so just so hey, wonderful. I, I to talk DM to. Sarah on Discord. So Sarah, if you're watching this, Sarah, respond. Check your Discord DMs because mm -hmm. I'm trying to have you on the podcast again. Pog, pog, pog. No, but the album was very solid. Uh, I don't think there was a song that I was like. Eh. It, it didn't just, slow it was, down. It like no. It, it, it had its low points, but it wasn't like they pulled out the acoustic guitar and like exactly. And they're it down, like, all right. Which is like every band in 2020 is done in the middle of their album, yeah. except like two. So it's something I can respect now. It's something exactly. that when I'm listening to a record, I'm like, did it slow down or not? No. That's like that's what I base my review off of the entire thing. The entire thing is if it slowed down or not. Yeah. And yeah it didn't slow down. Fair. It didn't. So solid record. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wonderful. Uh, Victims Aren't We All released a single, Burn, on November 3rd. What did you think of Victims Aren't We All's new single, Burn, that they dropped on November 3rd? So, as I've said on here every single time we talk about Victims Aren't We All, I can't fucking stand this project for some reason. I want to like it so bad because Get Scared is one of my favorite bands, like, ever. And mm -hmm. I was absolutely distraught when I found out that they were done. That was mm -hmm. a rough night. And uh, so I've been like, I've been trying really hard, but I can't vibe with any of it. I listened yeah. to the song. This song sounded like familiar in a sense. So I was listening to it. Maybe not for you because like no. you don't listen to much metal, <laughs> but this sounded like very familiar. So I mm -hmm. liked the song like a lot, a lot yeah. more than I was expecting. I saw Victims Aren't We All dropped another song. I'm like, why not? Man. And then I listened to it. And I was like, oh shit, this one's good. It's still not like. It's definitely a different style than Get Scared, but if this is where the project's heading, this is something I can get behind. Definitely, definitely. Uh, this was the first song on the playlist, so it kind of like like punched me in the face as soon as I started the playlist. It caught me off guard, but I really enjoyed it. The person isn't a jerk, right? Like they, no. It's just, okay, good. I really liked it then. Um, it was good. It's not my type of genre, but I was able to actually like vibe with it most of the songs on here if not all of, all of them all the songs on here i really liked so good job good job guys you do uh yeah it's, it's it's like four people no that's get scared johnny is just one person i think he does it all no no but in the picture there are like four people and they all have long hair that's johnny four times i would assume send me what you picture. think send me the picture that you saw here if you if you literally it's just like if you um if you go to Spotify, right? If okay, if your gonna, Spotify loads, we're going to Spotify. Okay. I'm gonna go to Spotify on my phone because that's what yeah. I me too. Up. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, wait. What victims, victims are we all? Victims. Okay. Well, all I see is one person, and it's Johnny. Homie. Oomph. So here, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Right there. That's Johnny four times, Glory. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Why do they all look so different? <laughs> yes, for reference. That's uh, Johnny. <laughs> this is Johnny four times. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? I'm dead serious, Glory. Look at the picture again. Look at it again. That's definitely, yeah. It's Johnny four times. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Oomph, well, it was that good. Stayed in the dress. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, 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 anyways. Um, All right, your turn. Miss Vincent dropped a single, Vials, on uh, November 4th. Banger. Absolute banger. banger. Absolute banger. I love them so much. God, they don't miss. Oh, God. All the singles they've dropped so far, I mean, that cover, we're not going to count that one, but no. all the ones they've dropped for what I would assume is an upcoming album. Mm -hmm. The holy shit. 
Like they legit have. This isn't me. Just like just because they're our friends, like they have not missed they every single missed. one of their songs have been bangers. Yeah. So keep doing what you're doing because a you're fucking, doing good. It's a fucking banger, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm very excited to see whatever bundle of songs they're gonna do, whether it's an EP, uh, album, or literally just like a collection. Because I'll take anything if there's more of that. Yo, so Sam gifted another sub. Let's go strangler. For Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna... <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sam. Thank you, Sam. I'm gonna Sam's kill you. going poor for us. Sam's gonna go poor. Um, oh wait, it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Talk about the clusterfuck song. <laughs> Anti flag released a new single, "A Dying Plea," Volume One, not to be confused with two, three, or four, <laughs> on uh, <laughs> November fourth. Uh, I I thought the song was okay. It was just anti flag, to be completely honest. What? It was just anti flag, but had like Dwayne and some female vocalist too was wait Dwayne was on it yes there were like three or four people on it. that's why i called it a clusterfuck because the there were cl- like four or five features on it i i didn't i didn't hear a difference maybe i don't listen to enough anti-flag to to know are you serious Dwayne was on it oh my goodness lord boy yeah there was Dwayne, marcia richards well i i heard so- the, the female vocalist someone else there's like three there's like four or five features so many that aren't showing up on my phone Holy um youth. So, wow. yeah, it was, there's... That's a lot, yeah. Th- yeah, there were four features on yeah. this track. That's why I called it a clusterfuck, because mm-hmm. of how many features were on it. But yeah. honestly, it wasn't, like, when I saw it was announced, I, was, I got the press release for this, I was like, oh, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And then oh, I listened man. to it, and I was like, this honestly oh. isn't as bad as I was expecting, but, yeah. like, what is it with, like, having five people on a track? Man. I don't get it. Man. Man. And that's all I gotta say. It was okay. Yeah. I didn't mind it. It was yeah. good. Uh, I like whatever Dwayne does. So, so Juliet Sims dropped an EP Descent on November sixth, and uh, this was like her first bundle of songs to come out of her signing to Samarian good Records. Good for you. Uh, so, and I think the first time she dropped anything in twenty twenty. Although I was expecting the single she dropped in twenty nineteen to be on this, and for the EP mm-hmm. to be longer. Yeah, but it was just three songs. Yeah, it was just three songs that were all like. We fight, then we have sex. Yeah, I, I like didn't. All I got out of the CP. So. That's all it was, which is fine. Make songs about that. That's cool. I mean, that's just not the music I listen to. All I said to Sam was like, I'm hoping her relationship with Andy's all right. Wait, Andy. <laughs> From Black Veil Brides. They're married. Andy Black. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, so I was Wait, like, I hope they're, oh my God. I, I hope their relationship is okay? right because you no. wrote three songs about them fighting and then fucking. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing this is right. why we can't have Juliet on the podcast because no. I just said that. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's like, it, man, it was it was an okay EP. It's just not my my type of music, you know. I liked it. I was I'm just worried for them. <laughs> I, I seriously i thought it was really good i'm just like yeah concerned <laughs> yeah maybe it's about like a past relationship man <laughs> <laughs> man all man. right well far out dropped an ep beyond the horizon on november 6th i'm gonna get my point out before you say anything i thought this was a remix ep uh-huh. because i thought it was like them remixing old songs with new vocalists or whatever but it was not um i didn't have a problem with it it was a bit it was a little techno, right? Some songs were techno, right? Yeah. Kind of right. like, yeah. So I'm not entirely sure why this was in my Spotify. Yeah. Um, I didn't mind it. For the week. But I was like, nothing dropped this week. So we're just going to roll with it. And then I started listening to it. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to keep rolling with this. It's just one of those weeks. We're just going to talk about whatever. Um, and I mean, it, it was good for what it was. It's like one of those yeah. things that you can like put on the back yeah while you're working on something and like not exactly. really think about it um just kind of bop your head to it yeah but you know? other than that it's like it, it's not glory and i it's like cup of tea it's not what we te- typically talk about mm-hmm. it was just like oh shit literally nothing else happened this week we'll just talk about this for the funnies and i'm not gonna bash it yeah. just solely because it wasn't for me but i just thought it was all right for what it was yeah, yeah. i i liked it i don't know if i'd revisit it mainly because I only listen to like two people ever. That's like Louis Tomlinson and 
Harry Same. Styles. Harry's Harry. I'm I'm starting to to lose a bit of Harry. But oh, because you've like, only listened to him four thousand times. You know shut that, up. Kind of, that kind of happens. <laughs> I'm nearing five thousand. That's but that's what whatever. happens when you listen to an artist five thousand times. Glory, you kind of start. Okay, to burn I out. lied. I'm still listening to Harry every day, <laughs> but it's okay because now I'm listening to all of them now. But um, I I liked it. I liked all the vocalists. I liked all the features. I didn't know if the features were the ones that were singing or if the features were the ones like remixing, like mastering, mixing the song. I thought it was cool because I just don't know the band or the artist well enough to, to be like, oh, no, that's so-and-so's voice. Oh, that's when this person came in. My guinea pig squeaking. Um, but, yeah, that's it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, God, Bears I'm so and tired. Trees dropped a single, Ibuprofen, on Woo! November 6th. This is my favorite Bears and Trees song. Let me As get that out of the be. way. Let yeah, me get that out of the way. This was my favorite Bears and Trees song. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not one. I like. I bash Cave Town. I've bashed the other Andy Anthony 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 Amaram singles that weren't this one. Shut up. And every other slow song we've ever talked about ever. Mm-hmm. So the most of the bears and trees stuff isn't my cup of tea. This was actually good. I like this a lot. I'm usually the one who defends all the soft stuff because I like soft stuff. Like I like Cave Cave Town is like one of my Cave top Town artists. Fucking sucks. Cave Town is so good. Um. Anyways, I thought this was a really good song. This was not my favorite. So- why Why are you squeaking when I talk? Please. Anyways. <laughs> um. <laughs> um this is not my favorite song by them um my favorite song was the one off their last ep i'm pretty sure um it's the one no no it's the it's almost it has like fire in the name or something and was i thought it, it was off the ep i want to be chaotic or whatever or no was it, it was that? the one before that where they're all like on like a bench in front of like you don't know it but it's like greenery yeah. and they're all sitting there looking all you know so ain't that like every cover art they've ever done no <laughs> no because i want to be chaotic is like um it has reds and stuff so it's not they they aren't on the cover i don't think it's the the ep before that or the album before that the one uh they're all sitting down and there's a lot of green greenery behind them and they're on like a bench or something all I see with anything remotely close to that would be Vertebrae, which is a single off of I Want to Be Chaotic. Homie oomph. They released something before I Want to Be Chaotic. No, Lori, I think you're on Here. track. No, wait. While Here's Lori tries to figure out her life, um, they're, they also signed on to... Uh, counterintuitive records which their is ep i see blue they're starting not, fires they're not sitting on a bench they're standing against a wall and it's all they're blue. sitting look at them they're sitting they're literally sitting unless they're squatting in front of a a wall you're like green green this green that I greenery saw green, green. No, Glory, it's, it's like, blue are you no. colorblind no, 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 it's blue, but behind them is actually greenery. It's just turned blue. You can see, like, the trees and stuff behind. No, but they are sitting. Look, look at them. They're sitting. You can't see it, but they're sitting. Can we talk about the British man now? The other British man? Oh, which one? Oh, <laughs> oh. Youngblood released an EP, a weird AF Halloween on October 30th. Thank you for correcting that. And an acoustic version of his song Cotton Candy on November 6th. You say your thing because it's probably going to be negative and then I'm going to say mine because I love him with my whole heart. What the fuck was the CP? Was it was it literally just songs he already had out? Yes, I'm pretty sure it was the songs he played on his live stream. Then, like, why are we cash grabbing over streaming services? Homie, I don't know. <laughs> Because, like, you, you don't make anything for streaming anyway, so why are we putting cash grabs up on streaming? Maybe it was to, like, make a public playlist that isn't a playlist, but just, like, a... I mean, go. Lemonade was on here, so honestly, I Lemonade. can't complain. Oh, my um, God. 
Parents was on there, so like I can't. Why complain. he talks a lot about sex and drugs? Like I listened to the entire EP. I was like, homie, why is there so much talk about sex and drugs? Ain't this guy like Ooh, Tyler horny on the timeline? Shit? Like why are you being so horny? What the fuck? I was so confused because oh like God. all the like ten year olds love Young Blood, and he's out. Young Blood like, is so good. I fuck my mom and I fuck my daughter. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. I'm like, this is like the Juliet Sims EP, except like, he's not married. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god. I thought it was good. I, I didn't understand why it was put onto an EP. He, he might have said it said why, but um, I thought it was good. It's Youngblood songs that I already liked, so good job. And, um, uh, the acoustic version of Cotton Candy, what do you think of that? It was too British. Zero out of ten. I thought you would have liked it, because it, was, it wasn't like... It didn't feel like Youngblood. It didn't feel like... It wasn't a boring acoustic track, because believe me, we've talked about plenty of those. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I just was like, this is really British, because like you take away all his instrumentals, and you yeah. just hear his voice, and you're like, mm-hmm. fucking hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. See, I like I like British accents and stuff in music, so this was this was great for me. Well, I, I thought it was cool. Yeah, I yeah. know you'll like Have you listened ahead. to Louis Tomlinson? Like, Sadly, I did, yeah. As you should. Oh my god, King. Oh my He's a god. king. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, good job, young blood. You're doing great. I love you so much. Come on the podcast. You're my favorite. Okay, bye. Yo, yo, like, real talk. If Young Blood was like, yeah, I'll come on the podcast, <laughs> You're so- I-, I would take back every negative thing I said about this oh guy ever. I'd go through, I'd start sifting through, I'd be editing stuff out, dude. Oh my god, Listen, you're the worst. You're I'm the not worst. the worst, I'm just about the numbers. You're the worst. <laughs> Young Blood, I actually love you. Please come on the podcast. I love you if you come on the podcast. You're the worst. You go uh, to the next one. Go so to the next one. System of a Down dropped a couple of singles, Protect the Land and Genocidal Humanoids on November 6th. This Period. came as a surprise because they haven't dropped anything in 15 fucking years. Are you serious? So when I went on Spotify and saw that System of a Down was on my front page, it's like, holy shit. And the timeline was like, holy shit, new System of a Down. And I haven't listened to much System of a Down, even though everyone's like, listen to Toxicity, listen to this. And I'm listen, like, listen, listen I'm, like, to I'm too busy listening to corn. Like, no. Exactly. Um, I'm busy getting my 700,000th corn play. Yeah, Leave me alone, of course. mom. And, yeah, come on, mom. And um, <laughs> I, li- I listened to this because I was like, oh, my God, System of a Down. I guess this is time to, like, listen to System of a Down. Exactly. I don't know. I guess so. And, today's the day. Yeah, today's the day I listen to System of a Down, finally. And I did, and I thought the first song was kind of weak. Mm-hmm. I was like, "This is kind of pathetic." But the second song was really good. Um, That's the genocidal, gen- genocidal humanoids. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah I liked that one more. Uh, yeah, I thought that one was better. Like I saw someone say, like they they managed to drop a three out of ten and a seven out of ten. And like, I mean, it it hurts to say like one of the songs wasn't all that good because they haven't dropped anything in fifteen fucking years. But that's just kind of how it is. And the, they dropped them for like a good cause, though. Something going yeah, on okay, in the home country. So oh, that's, that's why they got in the studio and they're like, let's make a couple songs. Um, and that's now nice we're like, no one's like, everyone's like, don't expect an album out of this. But people are like, oh my God. You know what's going to happen. Oh, oh they my got God. carried away. Oh my God. They were in the studio. Oh my God. They recorded more music. Wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you um, know, you know. They're not just going to drop this and be like, okay, bye. Probably not, but it's they're gonna they be like, oh well shoot, could. no, th- no, no, they're gonna be like, oh shoot, people still care about us. Well, they Let's knew come people back. still cared about them because they're they don't tour anymore, but they were still headlining massive festivals. Like what? Have n- not dropping anything in fifteen years, and they were still headlining like massive festivals. Well, it's system of a down. Yeah, and everyone thought yeah. they were gonna tour with Corn, and then they were just playing those couple shows in L.A. with Corn, mm-hmm. which got fucked because of covid but yeah that was a thing that yeah, is a thing that is yeah. a thing that's going on right now in yeah, case, wear your mask in, in case you missed it <laughs> in COVID, case you missed it covid is still running rapid and can't in case you missed it ever. covid 19 yeah that's that's about how we can sum up that's it march from yeah. now god oh my god it's been Mar- Ugh, march march 12th We've been at this since april i remember i remember when my friends made fun of me like you it was you guys you guys were like ah oh, ew you have to wait until july like 9th to get homie you have to wait until july 9th 
Well, that's because um, your state was just locked down, locked down like forever. Yeah. yeah, and you guys were like, "Hot, we're getting out two weeks before you." And I was like, "Okay," and then the entire country is locked down. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. So that's it. Anyways, Under Oath uh, dropped a live recording album thing lost in the sound of separation i misspelled separation that's nice. embarrassing on november 6th what did you think of uh, lost in the sound of separation uh the live recording by under oath that was dropped on november 6th i thought that i haven't listened to the album that they played live and then put this up mm-hmm. but i was like damn more bands should do this because this was from a live stream that they did in oh. july mm-hmm. and i was like man i want to see more bands put their live streams up on streaming services because they recorded them so fucking well why not it's more money for you guys more pennies in your wallet literally pennies uh yeah spotify thanks to spotify (laughs) yeah yeah and uh so yeah i'm hoping this is the start of like then you know motionless and white puts theirs up Mm-hmm. Point North, Silver Stream. Everybody just follows that. Yeah, everyone yeah. just follows that so that I don't have to keep cutting the streams myself to make live albums because that's getting tedious. Yeah. Um, so I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. overall, I thought it was good. I was like, damn, this is good. It sounds good. It looks good. It tastes good. It smells good. So overall, huh? I thought it was good. I don't really have much else to say. Can you tell? <laughs> it's a live album. <laughs> like, um, I thought it was fine. It's not my, my, my cup of tea. But um, for what it was, it was good. Dry you know? in the chat said Stan Youngblood. Dude, we're going to have to have you on the podcast again. We're beefing. <gasps> Stan the, Youngblood, for real. The beef ain't over yet. <laughs> we're going at it again. Um, okay. Um, hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait, no. The, 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 <laughs> the Dangerous on. Summer dropped a single, I'm Alive, on November 6th. I thought this was good. I thought this was good. I liked it. I thought it was good. I mean, yeah. it wasn't my favorite thing because it was like alt rock. But when I listened to it, I was like, this isn't bad. I could vibe with this. No. Like, if exactly. you're like, yeah. you have to listen to one song on repeat for the rest of your life. And it was going to be I'm Alive by the Dangerous Summer. Like, okay, put it on. Let's do it. And then I'd be like, Why pull not? the trigger after like the third time through because I can't listen to anything on loop. Oh, <gasps> what are you? Shut up. Except, that is a lie. Except Simmer by I was going to say Williams Simmer because I listened to it like, like 50 a, times. Every corn out. song. Well, I mean, the corn albums are just like on a constant loop. Oh, uh-huh. like, oh of course. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, I, I looped the Bringing the Horizon EP when it finally dropped on stream. Exactly. So, because I'm a dickhead and was listening to it before it came out. As long as you stream it when it does come out. Don't worry. I definitely made up for those when it came out. There you out. go. <laughs> then you're fine. Then <laughs> you're fine. Um, I thought it was I thought it was good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Carmen McLean. Oh, my God. Carmen McLean uh, dropped a new single, Bloom, on uh, November 6th. I thought this was a very good single. I really liked uh, her first single. I can't remember the name for the life of me, but I remember clicking with that one really well. I did like this one, though. I'm glad she got on Spotify now, because before she was just on she was, SoundCloud. Well, her, her like what she called her debut was the first mm-hmm. single that we chatted with her about and chatted about on here. Yeah. But I know she had a couple of songs on SoundCloud that she didn't even tell me about, so I'm just going to assume no. she wants to forget about those. Yeah, I remember so. when we were talking, I checked out her, her SoundCloud, and I was like, yo, they're like four other songs here but they're from like four years ago yeah. so i was like i'm just not even gonna to, to ask i'm not but gonna I, ask uh, i thought the I track thought it was, was good. good but i agree with what you said i, I preferred the first single yeah. over this one i think yeah. it was a little bit poppier this one was a little bit more laid back if i remember correctly yes. i'm yeah. trying to like i'm straining the memory here trying to remember <laughs> it was so long ago too because <laughs> i didn't but, go back and do the refresher because it was what may oh my god so um, long but i thought it was really good I am very excited to see what she does next. Carmen, you're doing great. I'm proud of you. Amazing. Honestly, up until the time that she DM'd us about the single, I thought she was dead. Like, I seriously thought, like, she dropped yeah, the one she single just, and was just done. And she was done. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm glad she was like, yo, I'm back. And we were like, yo, yo hey. No way. We were talking about well, you a couple months ago. And come we back thought on you were the dead. pod. <laughs> exactly. Come back on the pod. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of people we thought were dead but are back, uh, Charlene yes. Joan dropped a single, a sunflower song, on November 7th. I can respect how short this song Such is. I love it. a good song. I oh, love my God. It. You and I have two completely different reasons why we thought it was a really good song. <laughs> I thought it was good because it was a cute it was a cute song. Yeah. And it made I me like, it really it just short. like, <laughs> wow. It reminded me of like Dodie-ish. 
not like completely, but just like that vibe of just like tranquility Everything's almost. Okay. Zen. Yeah. I Which really is liked the vibe it. that Charlene gives off anyway, so it I matches know! her vibe perfectly. I love her singing. so much. Yeah. Um, so I love this song. I love Charlene. So much love for Charlene. Yeah. Uh, it's her birthday today, so happy birthday. <gasps> happy Charlene. birthday, Charlene. Um, oh, my God. I got to ask her day. DM about having her back on the podcast. Yeah. That's something I got to get to sometime in the next, like, month. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to do it. But, yeah, it was good. Good job. Oh, shoot, that's me. Foo Fighters released a new single, Shame Shame, on November 8th. I thought the song was good. Uh, this was the first time I think I listened to the Foo Fighters, so good introduction, I think. I saw Jackson from Gold Flame. Oh, Shit I love on them. This. Whoa, I don't love them anymore. <laughs> so all I can say to uh, them is you're wrong. The song mm-hmm. was good. I know it's not typical Foo Fighters stuff because mm-hmm. sadly I had to grow up on them alongside like you two. So oh, I've listened to my too. fair share of Foo Fighters and uh, this is not the Foo Fighters I grew up on, but this is something I can get behind. Um, the preview songs, like little snippets of all the songs leaked today. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh. I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to listen to it because then I'm going to want to listen to the album. But yeah. if there's previews out, uh, an album leak will probably come yeah it's it's inevitable the album comes out in february so to watch an album like this leak <laughs> three months early Jesus. oh my god <laughs> that's a long time february um, that's next year yeah so i thought Ew. the song the song was really good i i listened to it and i was like holy shit wait i gotta listen to that again do i like it mm-hmm. as much as i think i do so i listened mm-hmm. to it again i was like Aside from the fact that it does get like a little boring towards the end there, because like yeah. raising that like four and a oh, half. Oh yeah, mark, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, God damn, can this song be over already? But other than that, I thought that the song was like really good for like everything up until like that last thirty seconds where you're yeah. like, the song should have ended like a minute. I was ago. gonna say the last like minute because it was like a three and a half minute song, right? It was upwards of like four and a half minutes. I thought. Yeah. Uh, I remember looking up just like, oh my god, his, it, it's a good song, but it's I was like, is this going. song still going? It's still going. Um, so that's like, but the thing is, like, I, I'm used to just quick songs, you know, just like one after the other after the other. Exactly. Um, but for what it was, it was it was very good. I enjoyed it. I'm excited to see the, the album they put out in February. That's so gross. That's gross. Okay. It was Swaggy Pog. Um, oh, he's... <laughs> and the last song we got to talk about today is Equipment Woo! dropped a single called coattails on november 9th that's today uh, they dropped it today and they're releasing what? an ep on friday um i thought this song was very good the vinyl pressings for the ep are hot as shit i haven't seen them what do they look like they're like split colors huh? mm-hmm. one is the colors of the trans flag and the other is like two different shades of blue and they're <gasps> both hot as shit dude like oh my god holy fuck oh my god wait i might i might I might have to cop one. Yeah, okay. I, I you, say that every you've been, time. You've been saying that about the Happy album since the pre Dude, dropped. I'm still thinking. I brought it up to my dad. I showed my dad. I was like, okay, dad, 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 dad. dad. They did. Look at this. Look look at this vinyl. He was like, oh, it's a very nice looking vinyl. I was like, okay, now look at this one. Look at this vinyl. Same vinyl, just different pictures. He was like, that's very nice vinyl. It's like, okay, so now that you have your money, you want to spend it. And I was like, yeah. Yep, I'm getting the vinyl, and I still have not gotten. <laughs> what did you like? Show him the mock-up, and then show him the picture I posted on Twitter. No, like... I, I I showed him the. I just scrolled through their their Twitter where they uh-huh. just retweet people's stuff. I'm pretty sure I showed him your uh, vinyl as well. I just showed like as Every many vinyls. Picture. You're like trying to hey, trying to get look. his. Exactly, well, just it's trying the same to get vinyl, his approval. But look. Exactly, trying to get his approval, just like, oh, isn't it, isn't it cool? Yeah, I guess it's cool. No, 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 it's, it's really cool, so then I, I don't have to feel bad about buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how hot it is. Um, please, please say it's good. But anyways, the song was good. I like the song. I'm excited for the EP. Um, yes. Yeah, so. Our DMs are open, and our email is goodnoisepodcast.gmail.com. If for some Period. reason you felt the, the need to drop that EP in there a couple days early um so oh my god that is all the topics we have to chat about today because this week was light as shit uh, this is such a cool yeah i just saw that the the trans flag one yeah and it is so pretty yeah. oh my god it i love it so much vinyl. i love um, it so much so i got your unimportant plugs like go follow us and then glory will hit you with the important stuff and then i'll tell you that i'm more excited for the acdc album than i am the youngblood album so 
Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. That's good underscore noise underscore cast. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram. That is a good noise a podcast. All one word. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. Our numbers have been down, but the subs are going up. So I ain't <laughs> complaining. It's good mm-hmm. noise podcast. You can follow or sub to us on Twitch. Guess what that is? It's good noise poopy cast. Oh my God. Uh, good noise poopy cast. <laughs> You can subscribe to or follow us on Spotify and on every other audio streaming platform literally ever. It is Good Noise Podcast. Our hyper URL is good noise or no, hyper URL dot co forward slash, slash good, good noise, noise podcast. podcast. That's got every single audio streaming platform every we're on one. that we know about. We mm-hmm. might be on others. We might be on more. Add us, let us know. I honestly don't know. Um I think I have a list, but they might have added some. Who who fucking knows? Um, and goodnoiserecords.bandcamp.com. You might want to go follow our Bandcamp. Um, we've been talking about that Legends collab, and it's going to be over on our Bandcamp yeah. when it, whenever it finally decides to come out. Whenever it drops. Whenever it drops. Maybe we, next year. Maybe tomorrow. Honestly. Maybe It's so spontaneous. Now. We could literally do it whenever we wanted. Honestly, um, yeah. So... Yeah you can follow us over there so that you know exactly when before we even tweet about it you'll know that it's up exactly That's and you'll have your it. copy right away yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. it'll be mm-hmm. for charity and stuff so it'd be great mm-hmm. um, there you go and, and buy right. the other stuff that's over there it's also for charity and we got cds left we got eight they're good noise fine one and they're really hot and you should they're buy very them cool so that we can get rid of the stock and i don't feel like i have to buy the eight that are remaining so that it looks like you don't have to out. buy them it's fine you don't have to well, buy them like can you market it sold out so they look cool <laughs> sure <laughs> sure <laughs> um my timeline was dead with like stuff going on in the world because like people tweeted and people were excited that people tweeted so like nobody said anything about what was going on in the world um biden won (laughs) that's like the only thing that i remember happening this week this week is such a blur um so that's cool but just because biden won doesn't mean that like everything's gonna be a-okay now if anything things are gonna are gonna be a little bad um for for a good bit of time because um a lot of people who didn't get their way are going to uh, uh, lash out, maybe. There's a chance of that happening. So please, if you are a minority of any kind, please stay safe. Um, stay inside. Try to stay inside as much as you can because uh, people are crazy. <laughs> so that's all I got to say, man. Um, as always, like wear your mask because Corona is real. I can't believe I have to, in case you missed it, Corona is real. Uh, COVID-19 is real and people can die. And if you don't care about um, yourself, please do it in case you come upon somebody who has an at-risk family member and then you give them COVID and they give their family member COVID because then that's your fault. So don't do that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. As always, Black Lives Matter, period. All Black Lives Matter. So, like, that's it. That's all I got to say, I think. There you go. Good job. That's good. good job. That's good. Yeah. Period. Um, so, as I said, untweeted today, I am more excited for the ACDC album than I am the Youngblood album. Um, so, tune in next week for me to talk about how much I love the ACDC album and how much I hate the Youngblood album and watch Glory fume because she's fuming with just me saying that. So, you know it's going to be a good week. Uh, so yeah, well, uh, but we didn't even do the hello, Poopy. I am Shane and whatnot. So I have been Shane, but we never introduced ourselves. So I was actually never Shane. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm Corey. I've and gotten Corey a lot. So I'm Corey for tonight. You have gotten Corey a lot. Like, which recently. is like, like, uh, 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 Stop it's, right there. Corey. it's right there on the, the screen. It's and it's Corey. always on zoom. It's always on zoom. It's like, always on Zoom. It's too. right there. It's, it's never right there. Doing, it's never when we do a Discord interview. I it's don't get always it. always on the Zoom interviews where they're like, oh, hey, Corey. And you're like, I'm like, <laughs> glory, glory, G, G. And they're like, G. C- 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 Corey? Corey? Corey no, Taylor? No, no, no. Dude, is that you? Oh, my Yo, God. I do a podcast with fucking Corey Taylor? Dude, that's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. MFCT? Is that? No. CMFT. Yeah, MF, M- wait, what? CMFT. Corey motherfucking CMF- Taylor. <laughs> 
Yo, I saw that CD at FYE yesterday when no. I was out with Sam. It was on no. sale already. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> the fucking album was awful, dude. How much was it? How much was I it? I think it was only like a dollar off, so it was like what thirteen oh. instead of fourteen. But still, like oh the fact God. it had That's an on sale thing already, yeah, was hilarious to me. Yeah, I keep getting Corey Taylor ads, and I keep getting like a snippet of the same one song, of and what, it's like, like Black money's Blue. all right. It's like oh, that CMFT. Are you serious? Yeah, that CMFT must. Be I, hate that I hate that you know that. I hate that you know that. Song on the album, that and the punk rock song. Glory, we have to sign off. <laughs> so as wait, I said, why do you know that song? But just me I saying. looped it when it came out. <laughs> Shane, you shouldn't admit that. Corey, I like that song. I said it on the podcast. I said I like that song. I said it when it came out. I said it when we were talking about the album. I said I like so that good. song. It's so good. It's a great closer. It's oh, better turn. than like when Young Culture closed with fucking Lalo. Like, at Lalo least Corey... was the best song on there. No, it wasn't. It's my favorite I'm song. I'm going to fight you through the screen. We're going to have our first physical fight over Lalo Zoom. Lalo was so good. Please. No, it wasn't. It we was. Said, we said on the fuck. We said <laughs> on the podcast that... Lalo and American Idol should be flipped. They should, but Lalo's my favorite. Lalo was awful compared to American Idol. No, don't say it was awful. I just said that. No, I Lalo was amazing. I'm mad. I'm mad. I hate Good. it here. Go and, be and angry. The podcast. Go be angry. End the podcast. We I have to talk have to you ne- in two minutes for an interview. <laughs> <laughs> we have never been the Good Noise podcast because we forgot to sign on. Exactly. Good night. We will see you next week to talk Stay about safe. how good the ACDC album is and how bad the Youngblood album is. Good night, Uh everybody. Good night, everybody.